YouTube, Sebastian here, and today we're going to be looking at making more organic kind of sounds with synthesizers. Today we're going to be using pigments from Arteria, but uh, any synth, any wavetable synth that has any like comb filters or any modular stuff that has comb filters will basically be good. So if you don't have pigments, but you have like serum, this could this could work easily for serum. So um so this is a patch I made a couple weeks ago um for a project I'm working on and uh let's just listen to it. So without all the reverb and effects And you're probably asking me, how did you do that? Well, we're about to find out. So we got a instance of pigments right here. We're going to initialize the patch. So you're going to want to get a wavetable that has a lot of, a lot of frequency content in it. So this could possibly be good yeah so next what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to add some fm bring this up to about 12 so okay and uh next we're gonna look at our envelopes so make sure the attack isn't slow it's a fast attack and uh you know we're going to want a little decay on here and and release so it rings out a little bit and maybe bring down the pitch to this no the pitch is good so next what we're going to do is we're going to want a low pass 24 which we already have one so let's bring it all the way down to about 240, 240 hertz is about good, I'd say. Maybe add a little resonance to about 190, 92, that'll be fine. So you can't hear anything, which is a good sign. So we're going to grab this envelope too, and we're going to put it on our attack like we're making a regular pluck sound maybe bring up the volume a little bit okay now maybe put the key tracking up about halfway All right, so next what we're going to do is we're going to activate our second filter and we're going to have this be a comb filter. So we're going to try emulating uh, almost what a physical modeling synth does with in pigments. So we're going to bring up this frequency, maybe put it to uh, feed forward because I like the sound of that better. And as you can hear, we already got a... a organic characteristic to the sound and that's thanks to our uh our comb filter and maybe add i'd say half way some keyboard tracking all right so that's good so next what we're going to want to do is we're going to go to our second oscillator. We're going to go to a wavetable. Um we're going to go to a another uh wavetable. We'll actually go for a digero. I can't really say that properly. So uh Turn it on.
maybe add a little bit of FM to this as well. Maybe bring up the tune of the FM as well. Now this is going to be the body of our sound, so we're going to bring it down a little bit. So we got kind of like a Rhodesy kind of pluck sound. Okay, so what else are we going to do? We're going to grab a function. This is basically a like a multi-segmented envelope. And we're going to uh, put this on, on the wavetable position of our second oscillator. And we're going to put it on one shot mode. And this is basically going to be, you know, an envelope. We're not going to do anything fancy with this. And it's always nice to fine tune stuff to the way you like it. And we can take the velocity and we can actually have this take uh take the frequency mod down and what else we're gonna do is we're gonna have the key track key track the waveform as well so we get more variation per note all right so uh let's fine tune this a little bit more so And if you want to use, let's say, the other feedback mode, but it will sound a little bit glassy. Actually, I like that. So we didn't get exactly get like a pluck kind of, kind of like harp kind of guitar sound. We did get a glass kind of one. So, uh, you know. As for effects, you know, I usually just go for a compressor right here, you know, have it like, you know, usually have like a chorus right here. What I like to do is I usually like to have like a high pass filter here so I can get rid of some of the, the lows. It's cool. And if you want to add like let's say you want to add a the mod wheel right here. Do it. More modulation is always a good thing. And right here, I usually like to throw a distortion. All right, so we, we did kind of end up with a string-like tone. And what I usually like to do last is I like to set up some macros. So we'll have this on the different wavetable positions so we can get some variation out of the sound. And maybe even the maybe even the filters as well. And maybe let's say I want to add some uh wave folding in there too. A little bit of wave folding. That way we can have 
other sounds in there. Next, we're going to add some reverb. Um, so go to our bus and just, you know, dial in a cathedral or a hall reverb. Just kind of fine tune it to what you want it to be. Now let's copy this MIDI we have here and let's bring this into our new instance of pigments. So maybe we can bring up the pitch of this. And, uh, yeah, with some EQ, you could probably do, you know, a lot more. So, go back here, maybe bus B, and, you know, maybe add a parametric EQ. So. And that's basically uh, today's video. Um, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Uh, let me know what you think of pigments. Um, I really like pigments. It's one of my new favorite synthesizers. Arteria did a fantastic job on it. Um, yeah, uh, leave a like if you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Um, also, before I go, make sure you use uh some harmonically rich wavetables um there should be some on the internet somewhere if you uh want uh echo soundworks has a pack somewhere that for free i think it's on their website and uh yeah thank you for watching have a nice day